Well, we've got some more Iran news today. Uh, apparently, Iran is now alleging that they have broken up a uh, CIA spy ring in their country. Obviously hard to verify whether or not uh, this is true, but uh, Iran alleges that uh, apparently there were these uh, 17 uh, American spies working for the CIA uh, who were uh, gathering intelligence from uh, sensitive parts of uh, the Iranian uh, defense ministry. They're not going uh, too, they're not giving too many details about what exactly these guys were up to, but that's the basic gist of it. They were pretty typical spies that you would think of in a movie, you know, going in and uh, stealing information and stuff. Now, these were not Americans who snuck in uh, to Iran uh, to try and uh, sneak in uh, to buildings and steal documents. These were uh, Iranian citizens who were recruited uh, by CIA officers uh, to work on behalf of uh, the United States government. Uh, as far as Iran is saying, they did not arrest any American citizens uh, who worked for the CIA uh, in uh, this whole sting operation. They're also not getting into uh, too great of a detail as to uh, how uh, exactly they caught these guys. Now, according to Iran, uh, these uh, men were apparently coaxed into joining uh, the CIA's operation because they were given promises from CIA officers that they could emigrate and leave Iran and move to America and get normal jobs and essentially uh, live out the happy American dream. Now, of course, for uh, these 17 gentlemen, that didn't end up happening uh, since they are now sitting in Iranian prison. And Iran has made it clear that uh, at least some of these uh, gentlemen will be executed, uh, I guess, depending on the severity of their crimes and what exactly it was that they stole. And also, Iran said... Um, Apparently, they're uh, judging these guys based on who uh, who sincerely uh, regrets their actions. And uh, I guess they'll go a little easier on the guys that repent and decide that they're going to be patriotic Iranians again. Now, uh, President Donald Trump is uh, denying any of this at all. He's saying that it's absolute nonsense that they are making this up, that these guys never worked for the CIA, uh, that uh, we had nothing going on uh, with Iran. Uh, and that this is all nonsense. Now, of course, this can't be entirely true because we know uh, that the CIA is going to have, uh, you know, agents uh, in Iran somewhere. We just don't know necessarily if these guys in Iran uh, were, in fact, working for the CIA. I mean, it's a pretty safe bet uh, at any point to say there may be as many as 17 uh, CIA agents floating around Iran, uh, snooping around. Uh, and trying to collect intelligence. That's that's absolutely a given. But considering that we've got all these tensions with Iran going on right now, what are the odds that they just now uh, discovered uh, that there were suddenly 17 CIA agents uh, running around Iran? Uh, what are the odds uh, that that investigation just uh, decided to bear fruit uh, right at the moment uh, when we've already got all these other tensions going on. It seems much more to me like uh, the Iranians are trying to signal something uh, to the U.S. and that these guys perhaps aren't really CIA. The timing just seems a little too perfect to me. I think that uh, this potentially could be more uh, a, uh, a display meant for domestic eyes. I think that uh, perhaps the Iranian government wanted to show that they're doing something against the United States since they don't want to directly attack any U.S. ships or anything or do anything too bombastic because they don't want to get the U.S. to invade them. That would be terrible for Iran. Uh, but they do want to look like they're standing up to Iran, so they have these 17 guys uh, who are essentially uh, going to uh, be fall guys for the government and uh, be scapegoated and say, oh, look at these terrible CIA agents. We're going to all say how terrible they are, and then we're going to execute them. And it makes for a lovely display for the Iranian people so that they feel like their government is doing something to protect them. Now, of course, the other alternative is, is that uh, Iran already knew that the spy ring existed for quite some time, uh, but for whatever reason, they decided to let them operate uh, freely in the country. Perhaps they were uh, using their knowledge of the spy ring to feed them false information uh, to try and uh, lead uh, the uh, the CIA astray. You know, they were essentially using them uh, this spy ring to disseminate disinformation uh, to the CIA and to the Americans. And now, since they already know that these spies exist, they took advantage of that in this situation uh, to uh, arrest them and uh, look tough for the people uh, and achieve the same effect of what I was saying before. So I, either way, we don't have the full story from Iran on this. Either they already knew these spies existed or uh, these guys are, the, the you know, the whole thing's a hoax and these guys weren't really American spies. Either way, this is largely um, a show meant to 
uh, instill confidence in the Iranian people. And of course, CIA officers are killed uh, every day, and uh, we never really hear about that because uh, the, uh, everything they're doing is secret. And they're not officially supposed to be anywhere uh, because obviously it would look bad. Nobody wants to admit uh, to spying everywhere and having folks stirring up trouble. Uh, so uh, if these guys really are CIA and they get executed, uh, that's not exactly going to be an escalation. Everyone understands that it's perfectly reasonable to execute spies. Um, I think that uh, nobody would even get mad at Iran for doing that. So while we don't have the full details on this situation, we probably never will, um, I don't think it's going to be an important news story here in the future. Uh, this is uh, more or less just a footnote in history. This is not really a step along the way, along the path to escalation that could lead to a major war between the United States and Iran. And uh, on that note, if you gained anything of value out of this video, I'd appreciate it if you uh, click that uh, like button and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, please do click the bell uh, because I do upload every day and I hate to have you miss one. So I'll see you folks back here tomorrow.